and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a diagonal opening transition. You can use a double linear wipe for that. Let us just start with these two clips. You will find both of them in the description below. At first make sure that you've got an overlap. So I'll put the second clip on video channel 2. And now I give that a linear wipe. Just type in wipe. On other transitions you should find it, drag and drop it on the second video file, so the one on video channel 2. Here it is in effect controls. We want to set it to 50% and now we have to find the correct angle. So let me get to a position where we can see the wipe. And set the wide angle so that you've got it exactly right here at the corners. So for me or my screen size it's 29 degrees. Now go to the starting position, click on the animation icon, go to the end of the first clip, get back to the second clip and now we create a second keyframe and set the completion to zero. So now it opens from the center and goes downwards, just like this. And that's the first half of this diagonal opening. You can reposition the keyframes to make it faster. Let me just do this. And that's better, I'll keep that. So now we want to create the second part. And you can just use a second linear wipe. Once again, drag and drop it on the same video element. So the one on video channel 2. And it's the same process. At first, we go to the starting position. Set it to 50% completion. And then we'll find the correct angle. So in this case it's 209 degrees. Now we'll have to find the end position. So it's where the second keyframe is. Now we'll create a second keyframe here and set the completion to zero. And now it opens up in both directions with the same speed and basically the same mirrored angle. In some cases Premiere Pro gives you a little bit of a glitch. So I've had that a couple of times. One of these linear wipes won't work then, so I had to trick a little bit to get around it and that should help you if you've got the same glitch. Just delete one of the linear wipes, but make sure that you've got the angle remembered. So let me use this one in this case, which is the 209. So this value is important. Then I'll delete it and now I'll right click on the video file and I'll simply nest it. Give it some name, I'll just call it transition video. Click on OK and now add the linear wipe to the nested element, which is simply this video, the first linear wipe. And now give it this angle 209. Go to 50 once more in the beginning. We need an animation. Let the clip roll. And so you can see the first animation has ended. So I'll use zero keys a little bit to the right. And this is the position. I create a keyframe and I set it to zero. And now if I play it, we've got the same effect. So as I've said, it's only in a couple of cases where I had this glitch, but when you've got it yourself, you can just nest it and it should work. But in most cases, you don't even have to do that. You can just add the linear wipe two times to the same element. And this is how you can create this diagonal opening transition in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.